Hey guys, G.I. Joe here, and welcome back to my bunker here in Atlanta, Georgia. And today I want to talk to you about painting Sire Blood's custom dice. Now, uh, if you've seen my other video, you know that I purchased these dice from Sire Blood out there in Los Angeles. Um, I think it cost me $50, uh, plus the shipping, I think it was $57 total. And uh, he did a great job. And uh, you get four different colors, of course. You get um, 20 of the white, 20 of the red, 20 of the blue, and 20 of the green. Now, um, if you saw my other video, you'll know that when he sends you the dice, they come like this. They come milled, but they do not come painted. Okay? So, and Sired Blood is very upfront about that, and I have no problem with that. Um, so, I've had these dice here for probably, I don't know, a month or two, and I just haven't had the time to paint them. I've kind of been thinking about what I would want to do and how I'd want to paint these, and this is what I kind of came up with. Um, I consider doing, like, paint with a paintbrush and all that, but anybody who knows me know that I'm, I'm about efficiency and, you know, the simplest way possible that takes the least amount of time but yet still provides a quality product. So this is what I use. The first thing I did is I went to my local hobby store. For me, it was Hobby Lobby. Um, I think you'll be able to find this stuff in Michael's as well. And I purchased for $4.99 uh, a Deco Color paint marker, okay? I it, It's the rich gold finish. Again, Hobby Lobby, $4.99, and I, I purchased two of the pins, but turns out I only needed one. And there you see it, it's Deco Color, and it's by Marvy. Okay, so I bought, again, I bought two of these, $4.99 each, so I spent 10 bucks, but turns out I only needed one of these, so, um, but... I didn't want to have to make a second trip to the store just in case, so I bought a second one in case. So let's show you how I went through this process. Pretty easy, okay? Okay, you can see that I have four uh, dice here that have not been painted, so to speak. And this process is pretty simple. What I did was I first took all my whites, I laid them out, all 20 of them. Well, actually 19, because I still have one left. You simple shake, you shake the pin. And then I just kind of did a dot and just kind of did a little circle until it kind of filled the dot. And it was that simple. Now, if any of that paint s spills over onto the actual surface of the dice, the die, all you have to do is kind of rub it on some white paper and boom, done deal. So that one's done. Then I did the red. Okay, turns out I don't need to wipe that. Did this, a little spot there, so let's take care of that, gone. Then I'll do my blue, that's a spot, I'm happy with that. And yeah, maybe a little spot there. Then we'll do this one. Just barely over the edge. All right, and last but not least, the green one here. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Now, you should know that this stuff uh, dries pretty quickly, so um, it really didn't take me long to do all of these. So a little spot there, do a quick wipe, and I'm done. So as you can see, that doesn't doesn't take long at all. And um, the reason I picked gold, I, I think Sired Blood uses brown, which works well for him, obviously. But I just love the way this gold looks. It pops on every single one of these dice. The gold just pops. No question that it's a hit. And... Um, and of course, um, if you look at the final product right up here, you can see that um, 
of course, I kind of had a little fun here spelling out A and A, but um, I timed myself just so, not that I'm that OCD, but I timed myself just for the sake of giving you guys information. And it took me about three minutes to do one side of each color. So the whites, you could say it took three minutes. To do the red, which is two sides, it took six minutes total. Of course, to do the three-sided blue, it took um, three, six, seven, eight, nine minutes. Sorry, <laughs> not good at math. And for the last one, it took 12 minutes. So all in all, I think it took me about 30 minutes to complete my, uh, my dice set here. So love these dice. Love them even better now that it's got this popping gold dot on it. So thanks, Sire Blood, for providing these to the community. I love them. Can't wait to play my first game with them, hopefully this weekend, right? Short video, guys. Just wanted to check in and show you uh, my method of painting these. And once again, the stick is Deco Color by Marvy. And the color that I used was the Rich Gold Finish for $4.99. Hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll see you around soon. Thanks.